Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw, after the unbelievable happenings at Hell in a Cell. And joining me in the booth is Rick Schiavone, hello. Hello Jim, hello to the millions and millions watching on Twitch. And uh, yeah, goodness me, the face of JFW changed forever last night. Four new singles champions, not one the same that went in. And now the fallout from Hell in a Cell. Yeah, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Um, well, I've I've heard that we've got a we've got a video here. Um, if you bear with me, I'll I'll get that on. Ooh yeah, Night Demon, fair play, the best man on the night one. I make no excuses. We know what we're getting into when we go into hell in a cell. Hey, but let me make one thing clear. I've been told that I have to be out for up to two months. But when I'm back, be it you or somebody else with the extra arms but championship, no mountain is too tall, no river is too wide, there is nothing that I'm not prepared to do. I will kill a man. I am prepared to be killed to get that championship back. Just you wait. Enjoy your two months. Ooh, yeah! Oh boy, two months. Without Rick Reckless, the brutal injury there. All power to, to Night Demon. But what I want to know is, uh, is Zelda Reckless in the Diva Division when, Jim? <laughs> I've got no idea, but uh, <laughs> what I do know is, um, up first tonight, we have... Um, WR Spenny, Kiwi Nutsack Attack, Unseen Walker, and Oriolensis in a Money in the Ass qualifying match. So uh, let's get straight to ringside and see that. Glorious. And Jack Bull, I'll have you know, it was a bedsheet, sir. Toilet <laughs> paper. And yes, Frostlord and uh, Poopy Scoop, you are somewhat right. But if you'll notice, when when uh, when Rick Reckless said, even if I have to kill somebody, there was no flinching at all then. <laughs> that was completely normal behavior. <laughs> I, I don't know why he bothered to mention it, Jim. It's kind of like him saying, even if I have to eat my lunch and wake up in the morning, Exactly. <laughs> I was surprised. I was surprised you didn't say something like, even if I have to add another head to the freezer. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Oh dear. Um, they are not the same person. No, uh, not Royal. This is Rick Schiavone, and the wrestler is Rick Reckless. <laughs> so there you go. Two totally different people. They do sound similar, to be honest. And they Thank have the same you, first no, name. I, absolutely not. One, one of my least favorite wrestlers on the on the roster, Rick Reckless. But uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so, four, four wrestlers we've not seen for a while here, Jim. Yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? Uh, battling for that, that golden ticket of money in the ass. Gives them a, gives them a uh, title shot any time for either the... Uh, Extra arms belt or the World Heavyweight Championship. Either one, they can cash that in at any point in time. And that, that is the next pay-per-view. Um, on the 18th of July, I believe. So we're getting the qualifiers for that started tonight. Fantastic. Uh, Unseen Walker, one of the most Celtic-looking Mexicans you'll ever see in a wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, isn't he? <laughs> the Mexicutioner. Um, he, <laughs> he does speak with somewhat of a Scottish accent, somehow. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> no one really knows why, but uh, there you go. 
Well, it's it's not a it's not a weekend for British performers, Jim. Uh, Hamilton lost in the Formula One. Norrie lost in the Queens Club final. McElroy failed in his bid to become the Golf U.S. Open champion, um, and uh, and the Welsh lost in the football. So, so I don't know, Jim. I don't, I, I hope he's feeling more Mexican than he is Celtic tonight. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, but Scotland did get that glorious nil-nil win against England, didn't they? So maybe he'll be <laughs> inspired by that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Night Demon. Like Jimmy Fantastic and Jimmy Ventura. However, unlike Rick Schiavone, I, I think that uh, Jimmy, like, you know, and his hatred of Rick Reckless, I think Jimmy Fantastic is the best wrestler who's ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm with you there, Jim. Whoa, what, what a legend. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I love how you just see the calves here when he walks out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if W Asp any cares about the, the football. He is he is an ex rugby player, now in the JFW, and uh, he's certainly built like one. He is put together here. Gotta be one of the favourites. Who's your favourite for this one, Jim? I guess it's got to be Kiwi Nutsack Attack, right? He was in the money in the ass last year. He knows how to win these these four man eliminations to get through. So I guess yeah, maybe maybe going for the repeat. <laughs> but Spenny's certainly a, a specimen, isn't he? Yep, he's got a real chance here. Some amazing muscles on him for a sheep. <laughs> he is a human under the mask, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. It's it's a good mask. It's a good mask. <laughs> well, if this was last night, this would be the uh, the champion coming out now in the honoured fourth position. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we've got not a champion really of anything, but it is Otter Oil. <laughs> He's got a good chance as long as no one ever tries to pin him. <laughs> He's a champion of our hearts, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he really does well if nobody tries to pin him. <laughs> Unfortunately, kicking out of pins is like, you know, attempted pins are his kryptonite. <laughs> his entrance there reminiscent of what, the, the demon in WCW? That was a fairly short-lived run. But uh, yeah, sp spooky start there. And uh, quite, quite the intimidating mask as well. Yeah, very, very intimidating. Shades of Alistair Black in his entrance. Ah. But he was he was trained by the great Rusev, so he does some you know he does some uh, super kicks and uh, is it what is it what does he do does he do the camel clutch he does doesn't he yeah he does the camel clutch what it was called what was it called the accolade the accolade is his main weapon and uh, all, all the way back and further of course but famously to the Iron Sheik finally yes. defeating Bob Backlund in the uh, the second <laughs> ever. WWE longest title run. Oh, wow. Tell you what, Rick, you are to uh, to wrestling knowledge what uh, <laughs> Jimmy you Fantastic are to is to. <laughs> 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 A little bit, yeah. This is, this is brilliant. So I'd, I'd do okay until Jimmy beat me on the final question in a wrestling quiz bit, is what you're telling me, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that would be who's the champ? <laughs> 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 oh, it's two brown guys and two red guys. That was unexpected, <laughs> unintended. <laughs> almost, almost looks like a tag match, but no, every man for himself here. Yeah. After all, an unseen Walker going at it. Oof. Casually tosses him off there. <laughs> yep. K and A <laughs> suplex back into the ring. And uh, after all, taken down as well. 
Oh dear, oh that was, that was a terrible, terribly misjudged attack run scene. <laughs> oh, nice leg sweep takedown though from Unseen Walker. Getting himself pumped up, but maybe a slightly early celebration. No, he recovers just in time. As Kiwi Nutsack attack tries to take him from behind. And with a name like that, that's the last person you want to take you from behind. <laughs> Absolutely. And I've totally forgot that to stream, Rick. So uh, you can now watch on Discord the stream that I totally forgot to put on. <laughs> so you'll be on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like five seconds behind. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> took me a long time to realize, but it's okay. We're, we're sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. Oh, and that, the card is up to date. I did it missing. Oh, an early pin, and no one there to break it up, but a little too early. Unseen Walker able to kick out. He has taken quite a bit of damage there, and uh, KA still taking it to him, wrecking his shin. Waking him up possibly for a submission move later on. Drops the big elbow. Oh, <laughs> completely no sells it. He did, he popped right up, didn't he? But uh, but he got caught into a big Irish whip and then suplex back or, yeah, power slam back into the ring. Mm -hmm. A is on absolute fire. Finally, uh, counter here from Unseen Walker. Kicks to the leg, MMA style, and whips him right out into the ring. Unseen Walker, the only man in the ring right now. Yeah. I must say, Rick, we say no one was trying to break up the pin. Um, this is elimination, so... Oh, my apologies, of course. Yeah, this is this is going to be uh, wild with the uh, eliminations. That's Royal now with a chance. Calling for a finisher, maybe. No, he's celebrating too much. And he's got caught in a big DDT. And that could be the end of him. Brutal stuff. And seeing Walker getting absolutely pumped on the outside. K and A finally taking Quite a bit of damage here. Oh, wow. Okay, slammed onto the air. I thought he was going to roll it back into the oh ring, my. but he slammed his back into the apron there. And what a move from Oroyle there. Incredible manoeuvre to uh, WR Spenny. Oh, and he's going for the accolade. Put oh, that in. is locked in snug. <laughs> I can't see Spenny getting out of this one. I'm calling that. <laughs> no, what a, what a reversal. Credit to Spenny. I guess he hasn't taken too much damage yet. And, oh my goodness, kind of like a perfect flex. No, sorry, Ooh. a belly to backs, uh, and he held it for the pin. Absolutely beautiful there from Spenny. We're seeing some really good athleticism from some fairly big guys here, Jim. Yeah, great stuff, isn't it? Oh, look at that, what a move there. Yeah, abs absolutely ramming the torso of Otterall into the dirt, and another massive Ooh. DDT. Mask or no mask? That might be it for Otter Oil. I the think... ref struggling to get around though. That's a slow count if ever I've seen one. <laughs> but it was still enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's not his finisher. That's just his. That's just his signature. But it was, of course, it was enough to get rid of. Otter. Oh my God! <laughs> Unseen Whoa. launched into the ring post there. Brutality. Unseen Walker surely only got one functioning shoulder left. Now that was absolutely horrific. K and A now. Coming out and taking out Spenny and Unseen Walker. He doesn't care who he fights, but he's been up a bit more than he can chew. No, oh, into the reversal. He really is just taking it to both of them, Jim. Yeah. He's a, oh, yeah, my he, goodness me. He's a top, he's a top, top competitor, is Kiwi. <laughs> he's absolutely wiped out Spenny, and now he's taken down Unseen Walker as well, and he goes back over to Spenny. He's not even interested in winning. He doesn't want to get them back in the ring. He just wants to hurt guys. And make them suffer. Yep. Pounding those nutsacks. <laughs> Beautiful neck breaker again. Surely, surely he's got to take it back into the inside. No, he's just going from man to man. Here we go. Finally, enough is enough, he says. No, no, he isn't putting him in the ring. He's smashing his face. <laughs> off the apron oh my goodness and then he rams Spenny's face into the ring post busting him open this is so brutal and so dominant it really is well there's a big finally, counter by Spenny yeah finally we see a counter with a spinning heel kick to the face 
Oh, oh my goodness. And then Unsi Walker rammed into the ring post. We've seen, oh, K&A going for the low blow. We've seen how well that's worked in recent weeks, but he missed it and ate a DDT that finished Otterall just a moment ago. Can Spenny get this one back to the ring? No, goes for a spear. This is some devastating out of the ring stuff, Jim. It is, but you've got to pin them in the ring, so they've got to get back in the ring at some point to end this match. <laughs> The ref might just have to call it off before before a man dies here. This is absolute <laughs> devastation. Unseen Walker for the first time in about half an hour getting in some offense here. Massive belly to back on uh, on Spenny and then <laughs> rams him into the ring post. Deary me. My God. That ring post has seen some action already. Yeah. Oh, right. We're finally back into the ring. Oh, okay, Kiwi can't manage it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. It's not like he wants to do anything for a second anyway. Oh my goodness! All the damage he took and still finds a kick out. Unbelievable. KA looks exhausted, but he's recovered. Oh, and a massive falling elbow. Sends Unseen Walker back out, and then he calls uh -oh. for his finish. Uh oh, watch out, Spenny. <laughs> oh, the nut sack has been attacked. And that's all she wrote for Spenny. We've got K&A versus Unseen Walker, folks. <laughs> oh, God, I felt that just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> How many low blow finishes have we seen in the last seven days, Jim? It's unbelievable. <laughs> it really is, yeah. There's been a lot of low blows, an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Look at the strength, the atomic drop, weakening the nutsack for the finisher, as, as if you even need to do that. <laughs> and then a massive punch to the gut. Unseen Walker's just completely out of it, Jim. I, I can't see any way that he can get back into this match. No, it's, it's really looking rough for him, isn't it? This could be Kiwi's night. It's been domination from start to finish. If, if he takes this down in a minute, he has sent a message to the entire rest of the locker room. He absolutely has. Goodness me, we haven't seen Unseen Walker for a while. We might not see him again for a while. Power slam to the concrete. This is horrific. It's starting to get painful to watch. <laughs> it really is brutal. I think he's finally finished toying with him. Nope. 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 <laughs> Slams his face into the apron. Not interested in ending this. Oh, Unseen Walker, oh. and he's going for a weapon. If he's going to even this up in any way, Jim, this might have to be how he does it. The ladders. <laughs> the steel ladders. Oh, my goodness. The great equalizer. Oh, but his short arms couldn't get him. And <laughs> oh, DDT, and he lands on the ladders. He so nearly had the comeback going, but it's been cut oh. horrifically short. Oh, no, Jim. I don't even want to call that maneuver. <laughs> Oh, his back's Vin gone <laughs> Shades of Vinnie Jones against Paul Gascoigne there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, and Sid Walker with unbelievable strength. How did he even find the stamina to do that with the devastation that he's had? Come and he on, throws man. him in the ring. Surely not. Surely Unseen Walker can't find a way to win this. I tell you what, K&A could be exhausted here. Surely he's got a kick out in him, though. Yeah, he does. Oof. Kicks that out was... at two, but... Yeah, the, the only way I can see Unseen Walker winning this is if it's been a little bit of rope a dope. <laughs> KA has absolutely spent himself. Yeah, that is a possibility, the old face to fist technique. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, nice little backflip there oh, to uh, get him back down. Oh, dearie me, this moves up. Oh, man. <laughs> What's the end of that, Jim? <laughs> and I hope Unseen Walker has all the children that he ever wanted already. <laughs> oh god, that was brutal, wasn't it? <laughs> An unrelenting nutsack attack from Kiwi nutsack attack. I can't believe how many different nutsack maneuvers he's got in his hospital. It's <laughs> <laughs> great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Unseen Walker, I'm so sorry, mate. Goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> please, please never book me against him, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not. <laughs> yeah, potentially, potentially, Ansi. <laughs> oh, 
Well, opportunists are, are, are what you want for the uh, money in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> Unseen Walker didn't get the winner's purse tonight, Jim, but he did just save himself a lot of money on a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, he did. And next up, it's the Wemdorp Open Challenge. It's a mystery competitor taking on Calcium. The, the night oh. after he won it in that hellacious Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> <laughs> what a tear Calcium Kaz is on. Massive win on Monday Night Claw. Massive win last night. He's on absolute fire, and I can't wait to see who he's up against tonight, Jim. I really can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to have to be some kind of opportunist because, I mean, you know that Calcium's got to be worn down after that brutal Hell in a Cell match. Um, but we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, you out make a sure. good point, Jim. I our first competitor tonight that was uh, competing last night, and that is not much turnover time to recover, is it? Yeah, absolutely not, no. I mean, especially from Hell... Like, it's not a lot in a normal match, is it? You know, if it was just two nights in a row, but after a Hell in a Cell match, absolutely brutal. But that is the nature of being Wemdope champion. Kaz knew what he was getting into when he went for the title. Absolutely. And he's, he's a highly trained mixed martial artist, Jim. He certainly is. Who is this going to be? Wait a minute. That's... That's Dionysian's music. <laughs> Sniped! Sniped him! Oh my goodness, he, he smelt the weakness. He realised that he wouldn't be at full strength after last night. <laughs> and he got out his crosshairs and the snipe is in. <laughs> Amazing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby I, we might have a new champion straight away here Jim we could yeah we'll have to see how much last night's match is taken out of calcium can he withstand the onslaught from the sniper Dio or will we have back to back low blow finishes <laughs> for the first two matches on Monday Night Club <laughs> Yeah, we could. I mean, even if uh, this is this isn't no rules, like this isn't extreme rules, so calcium would be uh, disqualified if he goes for the low blow. But that's okay, right? He'll still retain the championship. Champions advantage. Yeah. So. We we could even see one of the longest uh, Wemdo title reigns that we've had so far in the JFW here. If calcium does employ that tactic, it's how he won on Monday. It's how he won last night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dio with his uh, casual expression. <laughs> 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 I'm glad he's as happy to be here as I am, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> oh, he is he is looking psyched, Jim, calcium cars, and he's looking fresh to me. I tell you what, I like I say, he's highly trained. He's probably got Twice the stamina of the average JFW performer, and that's saying something. I, I think he might still have this in him, you know. He may well do, yeah. The problem is, though, he, don't, don't forget, speaking of stamina, right, not only did he win the title last night, he also celebrated with Wendy. So I might have taken oh, even oh, more oh. about... I might have taken even more out of him than... Uh, <laughs> The match. This is true. This is how he's ended up with his uh, 27 children so far, isn't it? You know, celebrating his victories with Wendy. <laughs> exactly. You know how that ends. <laughs> Brutal night, <laughs> Oh, that beautiful title. Anyone would want to own it. <laughs> Dio's face says it all. <laughs> he can't even blink. His eyes are too big. can't change the camera angle. <laughs> if you ever wondered how he wins at tabletop, just imagine sitting across from playing that. <laughs> oh, oh, if only Foxamania, if only. Well, do you know what? There's a, there's a possibility that we could do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> no balls and no sleep tonight. <laughs> Amazing stuff from Dio. Love to see it. He's fueled by Huel. <laughs> And, 
And Jim, am I completely off here, or is this a BBSL game as well uh, this week? It is, yeah. This this match is taking place tomorrow at 1600 UTC in the BBSL, the final week of BBSL. Uh, Calcio needs to win to remain in contention for the playoffs. Wow, so a bit of a double header here. I don't know which one he'll want to win more. That's incredibly <laughs> important, both of them. Hello, Flicky Flag. There's a murderer in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two time murderer, Flicky Flag. Love to see it. <laughs> and what attempted oh murder word. of Le Brett Mask. <laughs> ending, ending plain white toast. <laughs> With attempted murder, so there you go. Has running the ropes like nobody's business, but not out of breath so far, and a, a big uh, knee to the uh, to the ring there from uh, for Dio weakening him. But uh, he's come back with the counter here, and it's really going to tell us what's going on when Kaz takes some damage and is he capable to recover or not? Yeah, absolutely. Oh man! Dino yeah, Dio was. with the uh, the kicks to the back and then a massive elbow to the head. But Kaz bouncing up. There we go, Jim. No signs of the fatigue we worried about so far. And a huge slam into the canvas there. And a, an early pin attempt. Surely too early to get Dio. Not even a one count. <laughs> I just realized Dio's like the opposite of PC, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but between them, they've got 2020 vision. Yeah. Currently, uh, Dio 4040. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh my oh. word! Huge, huge, crushing, winding kick there to Kaz, and maybe if he has uh, taken the damage from last night, that could end it. No, just a, just a one count. Still plenty to go here. Nice headlock from Dio wearing him down. Wendy not liking the look of that. Um, <laughs> He's just we have seen down. Wendy uh, distract the referee. He's just staring down <laughs> Wendy. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Who, uh, who couldn't resist a look like that, Jim? Wow. <laughs> Wendy might be on the line as well here. <laughs> oh, man. Amazing. <laughs> Getting the, uh, the one count this time, Kaz, but we've still got a way to go. No man looking ready to uh, to call it quits here. Oh, and uh, nearly a low bro. He actually, no, he got it in the esophagus there instead. Nicely uh, nicely aimed from Dio. Sends Kaz crashing to the apron Ooh. and to the outside. Massive right hand. Absolutely. Oh, my word. Dio's <laughs> up for this one. Getting the crowd behind him as well. Oh, nice counter though from Calcium. Was caught the foot and a huge clothesline, waiting for Dio to come back in. Celebration of his own. Oh, but maybe that was nil time celebration. Yeah, this is really back and forth. No man managing to get the upper hand yet. It's a snap suplex from Dio, and then a kick to the back, and he's decided that's enough. No, only the one count again. Yeah, that's been very back and forth. Yeah, really hard to tell who's on top. Uh, Dio whips him into the corner and then comes in with a clothesline to the back. Taking a moment to decide what he's going to do here. He's going to take it to the apron. Throws yes. him outside like a rag doll. Oh, wow. And then goes to the top rope. But oh, Wendy picks him up. Wendy rest, protecting oh, him. Amazing. Oh, Wendy moved him out of the way. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, Dio in loads of trouble now. Kaz has got him. Has Wendy won this match for Kaz? Oh, that was so good. Oh. That was Holy actually shit. excellent management skills from Wendy. Hats off to her. Amazing. And now Kaz getting the upper hand in the ring. Oh. I thought maybe maybe he could say the window champion for a while for low blows, but maybe I was underestimating also the effect that Wendy has. We've seen her distract the ref before, but that's the first time I've ever seen her pick Kaz up. Yeah, incredible massive, stuff. Massive, massive knee to the face of Dio. Oh, he's oh. <laughs> Two and a half. My God. I thought we had a retain there on the shoulders. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. wow. This has been all Kaz since Wendy saved him. Yep. Finally, Dio getting to his feet. Oh, and a huge bulldog. Running bulldog from Dio. That has turned it back around. He's exhausted, though. Taking a moment. <laughs> Kaz 
craftily rolling away from a stomp, but then straight back into the ring to try and capitalize. Ooh. And then they clash in the middle, and then vicious forearms. We see the martial arts here that Kaz normally employs against teenage boys. <laughs> and a yeah. back body drop of the ages. Can Kaz finish this off? A kick to the back himself. And that could be all she wrote. Good air, Cockney. Kick out at two from Dio. Kaz taking a breather. He has put a lot into this. And he put in so much last night as well. Are we finally starting to see? Oh, Kaz <laughs> removing the padding from the turnbuckle. Can he oh, ram no. Dio into it? Oh, he, maybe he doesn't have to. He's going to hit him with this move here. Whew. Wow, oh, incredible. Oh, but Dio no sells. No sells. <laughs> and then takes him down. <laughs> MMA style himself. Punches to the head. Pulling <laughs> well, for his finish, it's, it could be over, Jim. Kaz has got to find a counter, or this one's done, and we've got a new champion. Yeah, it's dirty deeds. Oh, oh busts him open to boot, oh, no. and that's all she wrote. Where's the ref? Where's the? Oh, ref? he's fixing. He's fixing the. He's fixing oh, the, the turnbuckle. <laughs> oh, the chest from calcium cars. Wendy saves him earlier, and now <laughs> removing the turnbuckle so that the ref would be distracted. Oh, Incredible man. stuff. Dio goes to the top rope, <laughs> and the elbow drop misses. Goodness me! <laughs> what about to roll? I've got to be here. This is incredible. Yes, no, two. <laughs> what a match! Unbelievable. <laughs> cars picking up Dio. And a massive right hand socks him right in the mouth on oh, an incredible, mm. incredible slam there. Yeah, this could be it. Oh, and he's going for the he's going for the crane kick. Oh, this this is the end now. Nothing's gonna save Dio. <laughs> he's got no Wendy on his side. Crane kick and it's over. GG. <laughs> oh my goodness, where did that kick out come from? What the hell? What is Dio just doesn't know when he's lost. If there's half a percent of equity left <laughs> then Dio will try and maximize it and will not give up incredible what a match this is one of the all time Monday Night Claw classics already it really is yeah an incredible match he's not giving up he loves that he's thriving in the adversity isn't he Dio oh, oh the more adversity the better Jim absolutely <laughs> drop toe hold by Dio and a big scoop slam really big into the sit down and the pin oh, he when on. Is it? Wendy Wendy distracted the ref! Oh, I don't believe it! <laughs> Wendy distracted the ref! And Kaz survives! Dio, though, with a fisherman suplex! And he holds... No, he doesn't. He lets it go. And, but he's exhausted! He, he can't make the pin, Jim. He's too exhausted. Oh, Kaz getting a breather and a chance to recover himself. Dio, realizing he's taken too long, stomps him and picks him up. God, Goodness me, another fisherman! Oh, fisherman DDT this time! Yeah, that's got to I can't believe this that's got to that's be it. it what a match <laughs> he's done it Dio the new web dope champion he had to come uh, overcome all the adversity <laughs> that could possibly be thrown at any one wrestler and his equity was down to less than half a percent at one point and unbelievably <laughs> he is the new champion yeah, that was amazing. I mean, Wendy did everything she could to help Calcium there. And Calcium was incredible as well, right? Two crane kicks. Unbelievable. And, yeah, and he removed the turnbuckle pad. Yeah. Wendy distracted the ref. Wendy picked up Kaz. Everything that possibly could have happened, happened. And Dio still found a way to win. There is no keeping this man down. Wow. Amazing stuff. <laughs> And just look at what it means to him, Jim. Have you ever seen a wrestler's eyes go so wide when they looked at their title? <laughs> I've never seen anyone with eyes like that before, I've got to be honest. <laughs> it's the eyes that won him Blitzpit. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> and now the Wem Dog twice. Oh, man. <laughs> Holy shit, what a face. <laughs> what a face. Well, there you go. And uh, <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't it? And now, from. It really was. Yeah, from one of the greatest. Uh, one of the greatest title matches in JFW history, too. 
Uh, two, two tag teams who've been on a bit of a tear, right? They've mostly been comic relief tag teams, these guys. Dance Dance Revolution and North and South. But they've both sent the flippin' rats packing the last two weeks. And now they're facing each other in claw as serial winners. Yeah, not not an easy thing to do at all, is it? Getting a W over the flipping rats. So so well played to both these tag teams. But I, I've said it before, and it's so difficult to beat Cock and Ball Torture. Like they're they're on the the form of any tag team's life, like the absolute pinnacle of a of a tag team. So uh, so yeah, good luck to to whichever team ends up. If if either of these get a title shot, best of luck to them. But I, I just think it's so hard to beat the champions. It is, they have been. I mean, you know, Das Hats have won it three times, but Cock and Ball Torture have just looked unbeatable since winning it, haven't they? That's the, that's the thing. Incredible stuff. Yeah, they are a slick, oiled machine. They have been donning in every match they've been in. But, you know, we know that nothing lasts forever in wrestling or life. So maybe one of these will change the future of JFW. Yep. Apart from, of course, the immortal Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from when it gets cancelled. <laughs> Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? Oh, baby. God, you know what? I wouldn't want to live in a world without PTK. I've got to say that. So good. He is, he is a beautiful, beautiful bunny. <laughs> but uh, it's all business once he's between those ropes, Jim. Absolutely. Yeah. He is he is a, a fantastic competitor, a giant of a man. Monster. And so nimble. <laughs> Over the top rope. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've, we've talked about tag teams um, that are similar. And we've talked about tag teams that offer a little something different in each competitor. And, and these, this is what we see here. The athleticism of Zedok the Dane and, and PTK's power just is, uh, is beautiful. And, and very similar to North and South, right? We've got Ansi the High Flyer and we've got the Scotty the Powerhouse. <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> Look at the confidence of these two. <laughs> Oh god, I love this entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Dyer and Mike Ashley, loving it. <laughs> oh man. He'll never sell Newcastle Jim, but uh but would he ever sell out on Ansi? Oh, I can't imagine it. <laughs> they, they are two peas in a pod, aren't they? <laughs> they really are. Want to be together. <laughs> yeah, good of him to have kitted, kitted them out on the in uh, with JD Sport their equipment, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bet you anything though, he did charge Ansi for it. <laughs> So good. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Cocky, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sports Direct. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, Sports Direct. Oh, yeah, my, my bad. I knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, big power slam immediately from PTK on Anstey. Good, it's me. The power I'm immediately uh, evident there. And then uh, grabs the trapezius muscle, really working on the uh, on the blood flow to the brain. This can send you to sleep, Jim, if it's held for too long. Ah, but the the thing is, that's maybe not the best move to do against Ansi, of course. Captain Brainworms. I'm not sure he's got much <laughs> blood going to his brain at the best of times. <laughs> yeah, he, he prefers his blood going elsewhere, and that's what really fuels him. <laughs> yep. Stomp to the wrist, and yeah, you know what? If PTK can't pick you up, then he can't display half the power moves that he's got available. <laughs> but he can pick you up. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> nice backdrop there, and a massive headbutt, dearie me. All the weight of PTK behind that one, and uh, whips him to the ropes. Can he make a quick tag, though, while he's there? No, he's completely out of it, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, of course, it was uh, Zedlock's corner. 
Uh, yeah. Me completely misreading that there. And uh, Zetok off the top ropes uh, into uh, an axe handle to the arm and sends Ansi flying. Goodness me, this is one-sided so far, isn't it, Jim? Ansi's in a bad way. Absolutely, yeah. This has been hot stuff from Dance Dance Revolution. It really has. And uh, Zetok now just absolutely mocking Ansi on the outside. <laughs> Look at this, but it may be taking too long. No, not quite. Scoop slams. Oh, there we go. He has. Ansi was playing possum. Reverses the scoop slam. Big punch to the gut and a neck breaker on the concrete. Oh, nice. Ouch. That's what he needed to turn the tide a little bit, I think. Oof. Stomp to the face as well. Yeah, all he's got to do now, Jim, is uh, find a way to make that tag. They've obviously got to get back in the ring first. Neck breaker <laughs> to Zetok on the outside. And yeah, this one's evening back up. Well played, Ansi. Oh, reversal from Zetok, though. This could be a count out. And uh, what, what effect would that eight. have on the tag teams, Jim, if this ends up as a double count out? <laughs> oh, nine! He's just keeping him up there! Look at the stall! Look at the <laughs> from Zetok, and it is! It's a, it's a double count out, Jim. What, what's the ruling on that? What will happen to these tag teams? <laughs> Uh, I mean, to be fair, that's a, that was a pretty good ratio of wrestling to entrance for those two teams. <laughs> but wow, what a time to, to do a stalling suplex. Unbelievable. Yeah, we, I guess we'll have to see that match again, eh? <laughs> yeah, fair, fair call. <laughs> okay. Whew. Oh, wow. Big one next, Jim. Yeah, Purple Chest taken on Pepper Biscuit. Extreme rules. Uh, PC, of course, was pinned by Dimmy G in that amazing match that was just dominated by Dimmy G, wasn't it, last night at Hell in a Cell. Incredible performance from Dimmy. And I guess Pepper Biscuit blaming PC for, for him not winning it, so he just wants to take him out. Oh, D Dimmy did it all. Eight breakups, multiple finishes. The only thing he chose not to do for a while, having apparently been coached by Space Cadet, was not to pin. And, and that worked perfectly as well, Jim. The late pin immediately got him the win. No one saw it coming. It was absolutely incredible, yeah. <laughs> Very good, Bezzar. Making headlines in the race. Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> So uh, PC had been in, in good form recently. Uh, that did get abruptly stopped last night, but uh, we might see him uh, get back on track here. Pepper Biscuit struggling a little bit since his death. Can <laughs> yeah. he show us that he's uh, with the monster that we think he is? Yeah, I mean, he has, he has like, yeah, death slowed him down a little bit, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's still been pretty scary. Well, I wouldn't want to fight someone that can survive death, Jim, that's for sure. No, absolutely not. Oh, boy. What an entrance it is that would strike fear into the heart of any mere mortal, barring maybe Flicky Flag. <laughs> Luckily for Purple Chest, of course, he's got no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if you can't see, then you can't fear. <laughs> yeah, he is, Blevin. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Jim, will this match go longer than the entrances? <laughs> it might not. It might just be instant destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fine, no. I wouldn't want to be PC now, though, I tell you. No, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Thank goodness for that blindfold. Oh. Huge suplex from Pepper Biscuit, but PC able to eat it, but then also eats a DDT. Nice roll away from the stomp, though. Oh, but an immediate reversal. Pepper Biscuit strongly on top here. Whips PC into the corner. Huge spear. Oh, PC's down and he's suffering. He is an absolute beast, isn't he, Pepper Biscuit? Look at the size of him. Stomping a mud hole. 
This is devastation. This could be over quick, Jim. This could be over now. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's been pretty one-sided thus far. Yep. <laughs> Elbows to the shoulders of PC, softening him up even more. Wonder how much longer Pepper Biscuit can keep up this uh, this pace of Arsenal. It's just absolutely horrific to see. PC, what have you got? Sweeps the legs. Come on, PC, <laughs> and just chills out in the corner. Fair play to him. <laughs> Taking it to the outside now. Oh, and another reversal. Oh, but then Pepper Biscuit coming back. Massive blows to the head of Purple Chest. And a DDT to the outside. Oh, my goodness. There is almost no protection from the concrete floor there, Jim. Oh, oh wow. my oh my goodness. And he takes his head off with it. But this is just becoming a slaughter. <laughs> it really is, yeah. Oh. Oh, my. Crushes him into the ground again. I, I don't see how PC could possibly have anything left here. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh, and he does it again. Oh, my. Oh, this is horrible to watch. <laughs> oh, boy. Huge lefts and rights and a kick. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. And TT tees him into the mat. What is going on? <laughs> Calling oh, for a finish. Oh, oh the power. Oh, the devastation. Oh, PC. <laughs> We will remember you fondly, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I wonder if Pepper Biscuit's trying to recruit PC to uh, six feet down under. <laughs> oh, he's just tossing him around like a rag doll, and, and PC is no small man. He can normally hold his own with the biggest powerhouses in the JFW, but he looks like a child here now. Yep. Oh, he finally, finally reverses and manages to catch a few seconds as he throws Pepper Biscuit away. He doesn't have long to recover, though. Come on, PC. Take advantage. Nice punch to the back. <laughs> nope. It, it lasts about two seconds and he's, oh, he's down again. Huge clothesline from yeah. Pepper Biscuit. He was never really in any trouble there. Oh, my. Oh, my word. He's just clubbing him <laughs> like a seal. <laughs> This is absolutely savage. Yeah, PC should have let out his scream of, I'm the boss! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he should have done. Oh my, oh, my word. The power blows. Finally, Pepper Biscuit looking a little bit tired here. Should probably get this one back inside. He, he could finish this at any time now. Yeah. This is an absolute slaughter. He might just I win it now. I think that's it, Jim. This has been horrific. Oh, wow. Oh. Kick out at one. But there hadn't really been any manoeuvre recently on the outside. He just rolled PC in. Maybe he caught his breath there. And he, he is a fighter, isn't he, PC? He has a lot of guts. You know, he doesn't ever really give in. He basically has to pass out to be gone. But the camel clutch now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. it's It's got to be done. <laughs> Fights out of it. Unbelievable. Incredible stuff. And a headbutt to the back of the head into, what, a DDT? Oh. No, he tosses him across the ring. PC's still got some fight left in him and some strength. Kick to the gut, stomp to the back. Come on, PC. Choking him out. Might get himself DQ'd, but at this point, that wouldn't be a bad finish for PC. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Well, it's better than having that happen to you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. He, he just broke him in half. His neck might have snapped. That is, oh, that is horrific. Just, just pin him. Why is he not pinning him, Jim? Why? He's already dead. <laughs> it's just, he just wants just to toy with him more. Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh my goodness, he's even holding on for more <laughs> and more belly-to-back suplexes. Oh god. How much can you beat on a man? How much can a man take? <laughs> oh my god. Pin <laughs> him for goodness' sake, Pepper Biscuit. <laughs> pin him. Oh, he's so he's a sick human being. He he no longer has a soul, Jim. There's no emotions. There's no caring for winning or losing. He just wants to do damage. He wants to hurt. He wants to extract the life and the soul of others. Oh god oh my goodness me. Oh my god, what's this? Oh. Oh. Looks like he wants to do something else to him now. Oh, oh, no, he's literally trying to snap him in half, Jim. PC, please. Please give up, PC. Please. 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 This is uh, this is something to try, isn't it? Oh, how did, how did he hang on there, Jim? Why? 
Stay down, PC. Stay down, son. You did your oh, best. No! No! He kicks out at two. <laughs> PC just refused to give up. Oh, my. And he even manages to throw a, a punch and, and making some stomps. He can't have much left in the tank here. Surely. And, and Pepper Biscuit's hardly taking any damage. The choke again. Just, just hold it on, PC. Take the DQ, son. Yeah, he won't just... think any less of you. <laughs> he's an absolute desperation. Oh, but look at this! Chalk slam! Chalk slam to Pepper Biscuit! I, I can't oh. think that's enough, though, Jim. There's no stopping this Pepper Biscuit. He's hardly taken any damage. Poo! Oh! Wow. PC looks surprised, but you know, I, I, I just can't see Pepper Biscuit staying down here. What what can PC think he can manage? The tombstone! Oh my <laughs> goodness, he can't, surely he can't win. This could actually be it. How it has he done be. this, Jim? It's unbelievable. Oh, oh wow. Incredible. Tell you what, this is at the very least, this is starting to even up a little bit here. It's still been an absolute slaughter. On, on the part of Pepper Biscuit against PC. And he takes him down again, but two big finishing moves from PC. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this fight is back on. Well, PV hits one move and then you think, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and PC with the leg sweep. <laughs> Can he find one more big maneuver? <laughs> I love that choke. Yeah. That is a good point, Cookie. Maybe PC was invigorated by that. <laughs> <laughs> submission attempt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do doesn't even get the one count, and now he's completely exhausted, Jim. He is, he is gone. And oh my, oh my word! Clothesline from hell. Pepper Biscuit would know. <laughs> what? How? Oh, oh my, oh my goodness! We PC needs a manager that can throw in the towel, Jim. He's never going to be able to wrestle again. He really does. <laughs> Oh my, oh my oh and that's finally it jim and thank goodness this if there's ever be been it. a mercy in jfw no <laughs> what on earth pc stop it son you can live to fight another day there's other belts to be won there's other matches to contend stop it and stay down this is unbelievable and of course pc was pinned for the uh, for when Dimmy won the world championship, right? And I guess he's thinking I'm not going to bloody stir down tonight. What? I, I just don't understand it, Jim. He took half the damage last night that he's taken here. I don't know how he's fighting on and kicking out is one thing. He's actually fighting on. He finds a DDT and he's he's calling to end it. I can't imagine he can. I can't imagine he could possibly get Pepper Biscuit up again. How can he have the strength left? I don't know. Well, he just tosses him off. <laughs> Straight out of the ring. Oh, goodness me. I, I guess if you could get a bit of damage done outside. There's a, a, the concrete out here. There's a lot of steel. Oh, yeah. Doing doing some damage. Finally starting to wear down Pepper Biscuit here. And what's he looking for, Jim? Oh, wow. It is extreme he rules. For? He's got a steel chair. The great equalizer. Oh, oh my goodness. Wipes out Pepper Biscuit with the chair. If he can get him in the ring. Under the choke slam! No, no, he can't. Yeah, he... no! Oh, that could have been it. Oh, oh that dear. That could have been the match back level, but oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Clubbing blows to the head and a stomp to the guts. Pepper Biscuit's right back in it. Goodness me, if he choke slammed him onto the chair, Jim, you'd have to think that this was anybody's game somehow, some way. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, he's got him again. Oh dear. Full mount. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. PC's wife isn't even going to recognize him after this one. <laughs> Power slam to the concrete. No. Oh, my goodness me. And he can't even finish him out. Like, the, the ref should be stopping this, Jim. He should be, yeah. Just call out the medics, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness and the ref can't even call it here can he jim no we might see a tap here but no he's not even tapping even though it's outside and it wouldn't end the match oh. he's still not tapping pc wow. oh and he 
rams Pepper Biscuit mask first. I don't know how thick that mask is, though. Pepper Biscuit might not feel those blows as much as PC's hoping. There's not really a semblance of what you'd call a brain left in there anymore to rattle either. How do you From keep who? Pepper Biscuit down? <laughs> <laughs> there can't be much left oh, of PCs oh at this point. God. Oh, brutal. The, the last part of the distrocity is in, and PC is busted open. And hopefully now he sees and smells his own crimson and, and realizes he's got to stop. He's just got to stop. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh my Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, me. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this has got to be it. Sure, just That's stay down. Finally it. That is finally it, Jim. Mercifully. One of the most <laughs> horrific beatdowns I've ever watched. <laughs> it really was. It really was. Absolutely brutal. Oh, he's just getting run out! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness me. <laughs> comes not the main event yet lemon but it is uh, it is yeah the best the maybe the best time team the jfw has ever seen indeed cock and ball torture the champions accompanied by sheila taken on dress for business fan fox and lemon is good boy howdy god that was amazing <laughs> being called oh. a short circuit in pc's brain <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that really was. That's a, that was one of the best like losing performances I've ever seen. <laughs> it really was, yeah, un unreal. That was uh, that was like Stone Cold losing to Bret at WrestleMania, where he just wouldn't tap and he passed outright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It Holy was crap! Absolute warrior. Incredible performance. His stock just went up in defeat there. But uh, sure. that's got to advance uh, Pepper Biscuit towards a, a title shot, maybe there, Jim. You'd you could think so. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Big step in the right direction. PC, as we saw, no, no easy scalp to take in the JFW. Yeah. Well, yeah, Dress for Business have been a great, a great tag team. So it's great to see them in action. They've strung a few wins together. And they've got a shot of the champs. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you never know in this industry, Jim. You don't. It's not predetermined. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like boxing. Anything could happen in this. <laughs> <laughs> they are indeed former champs. Yeah, they're a great tag. They're a great tag team. Lemon, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, they're great, they're, but they're not the current champs. Yeah, Foxmania, Pepper Biscuit versus Night Demon. They, they, they fought on the uh, they fought on the Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate Special, <laughs> and this Friday on Stan Firmly. Cock and ball torture on such unbelievable form. Will we see? That uh, the the flowing of like again tonight, Jim. They are one. They are a perfect machine. Look at their synchronicity <laughs> as they enter the ring here. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> you can see how seriously they take these championships. <laughs> Nothing says so serious like the Bushwhackers' entrance. <laughs> no, abs absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And we're off. Nice. 
Man versus Lemon. <laughs> Immediate suplex from Cocky. Nicely done. And also into his corner. Just just brilliant immediate whereabouts of his uh, ring generalship there. And uh, picks him up and slams him again. Nice counter from Lemon, though. Big right to Cocky. A side rush and leg sweep. Very nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big back body big. drop, though. Was, and another counter, though. No man able to get really on top here. Back and forth it goes. Side rush and leg sweep again from Lemon. Draw dragging him for something. Dragging him into the corner. Nice, uh, nice tag team maneuver in there from Lemon as well. And he gets the tag in. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Uh, the more tags, the better chance you're going to have. What can Fab Fox do? He can get instantly countered. <laughs> he can. <laughs> his arm slammed into the mat and a stomp. Cocky could probably do with a tag of his own, and he eats a boot to the face. Oh, Fan Fox fighting back here. Massive forearm. Takes down Cocky. I mean, the, the Fan Fox, you know, he's like... Uh... <laughs> He's the sort of wildlife that doesn't perturb Cocky at all, isn't he? <laughs> Coming from <laughs> Australia. <laughs> oh, he's used to, yeah, ten times the venom of a fox, I tell you now. <laughs> It'll give you a, a, a nasty infection for a, for a week, Jim. You have to put some Savalon on, and that's about it. <laughs> Big elbow, though, to Cocky. Doing all right now, is Fan Fox. Really solid start here from the challengers. Whips him into his uh, corner as well, but a huge kick out. Uh, boot to the face there from Cocky to get out to the corner. And now he's dragging him over to Moradam. Yeah, great, great stuff from Cocky. Makes the tag to Moradam. Gets, gets in the literal fucking goblin. There's no way Fan Fox is getting to Lemon there. No, Moradam has got him. The champion's back on top. Snapmare oh. down, kick to the back. On the oh no, I thought he was going for the pin. Massive punches to the face. Yeah, it was vicious, vicious assault. There's only so much damage that moustache can absorb, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it is a very impressive moustache, isn't it? But yeah, it's... <laughs> oh, oh, I, I envy it. Hat, hats off to it, certainly. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness! Spears him off the apron. Oh, devastating. <laughs> <laughs> what a manoeuvre that was! Out of nowhere! Sheesh, and well, he might celebrate. Goodness me, the intimidation right now. Fan Fox needs to get to Lemon, and he is a million miles away. He's about as far away as you can get in an arena, Jim. <laughs> he really is, yeah. <laughs> More than oh! Just <laughs> Slammed onto the barrier, got first, and, and Moradam again just absolutely teasing Fan Fox. <laughs> oh, he puts him back into the ring. Yeah, what? well, he might. This could be over. Oh, but he's too slow, Jim. He's made the tag to Lemon. Lemon's in. <laughs> oh, but Moradam oh, immediately wow. dodges him with a massive boot to the chin. What a sequence. That could be it because Fan Fox isn't there to save, but Lemon manages the kick out. That was incredible. Moradam on. Oh, yeah, and then a roll-up as well. <laughs> it's it for two. Oh. oh, wow. Kick out from Lemon. I think that caught him. Lemon by surprise. He wasn't expecting the immediate roll-up after he kicked out from the other pin attempt. Oh, no. There go the balls. Do Lemons have balls, Jim? Is it the seeds? There go the seeds. <laughs> I think they do. He's making some lemonade. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, do you take it with ice? Because this one's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's no, kicked him. Lemon. <laughs> Impressive fight from Lemon. He's only just been tagged in, but you got to think he already <laughs> needs to tag back out. Yeah. <laughs> Manages a boot to the head and a side rush of leg sweep. He is doing well with those tonight, but he can't take much more damage here. <laughs> Kick to the back of Moradam. Goblin getting pounded into the ground. And he does have stunty, but does he have thick skull? I don't know. <laughs> I believe he does, yeah. He is a, he is a goblin bruiser. That is correct. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yeah. 
Celebrations from Lemon, surely too soon. What is he doing? He's completely lost his whereabouts now, Jim. And he's about to get double teamed and not in the good way. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing Lemon does, it, it's it's premature celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> Juicing all over the place. Moradam over the top rope. Very impressive aerials there from Moradam. Absolutely wiped out Lemon. Oh, boy. Moradam is... loves this celebration as well, to be fair. He really does, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, smashed off the ring post. Get your pancakes out, Jim. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you make me feel bad now. It's ages since I've had pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> this could be another double count out if nobody moves, Jim. What's going on? Moradam, happy to retain the titles on a double count out. <laughs> St stay down, Lemon, if you want. Cocky gets in in case Lemon gets back in, but oh, I think he might Lemon have had doing? enough, Jim. And Cocky gets out to finish this one off. It's all over. Oh, that reset the count and going on. Oh, yeah, rightly so. Good good refereeing there. We nearly had our second <laughs> double count out of the night, Jim. <laughs> yeah. We Boy, might have man. had to have refunded the fans if that had happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lemon man. celebrating again, but it's just no time for a, for a celebration from Lemon. He's, we he's might still a see way. a double count out. We're in the danger zone, look. We're in the danger zone, the double count out <laughs> danger. Lemon. No, no, Lemon, stop it. No, oh, what's going on? Get in the ring, son. You're not going to win the titles. Oh. Finally. Goodness me, Jim. <laughs> At least he had the maximum breathing time possible, and he whips him into his corner. He can make a tag now. Brilliant tag teaming from Lemon. He's held on, and Fab Fox has a chance to win the titles here. Oh, it's a, it's a non-title match, uh, Rick. Oh, my apologies. Well, certainly, they'd certainly become the number one contenders then. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice neck breaker there from Fab Fox. He is, he is feeling it now. He has had a really good rest. And Cocky worn down. Huge suplex and again. Now it's really Cocky that needs to make the tag. He hasn't even been in that long, but he has taken a beating from Lemon and Fab Fox. One hell of a beating, yeah. <laughs> There's the spine buster. Oh, stomp to the head. Devastating. <laughs> you crab walk. How long are you for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cocky, thank goodness. Drags the arm. Gets Fab Fox down. Nice uppercuts. Surely can tag. Big right hands, but you got to make the tag, mate. No, my goodness. No, he eats a boot to the gut. Oh, oh, he was going for the fox bottom, but it was counted. Oh, my goodness. Cocky showing the, the awareness of danger there that keeps him and uh, Moradam champions. He is still in trouble. Moradam's going to have to make the save oh, here. he's missed. <laughs> <laughs> Moradam, not, not with his uh, greatest awareness there. Slight, slightly discoordinated. Cocky whipped into the corner. Still in a lot of trouble, but at least he managed to kick out. GFI definitely failed. No sure feet on that goblin. Oh, Sunset Flip beautiful. doesn't hold it in a bit, though. That was really nice. Fan Fox struggling for breath now. And yeah, Lemon looks completely exhausted on the airport. Yeah, Lemon is done. Lemon is completely spent. He he took a, a pounding and a half. I don't think he's going to be much more help in this one, Jim. Fan Fox has got to find a way to win. And Cocky takes him down, but he's got to get out of there. Come on, Cocky. What are you doing, son? Yanking the neck of Fan Fox, trying to get the finish. I don't think Fan Fox is going to tap. Lemon not interested in breaking that up for some reason. <laughs> no. oh, he was unconcerned. He's <laughs> still just hanging under the ropes. Oh, man. Oh, an armbar! An armbar! Could this be it? No, Cocky finds a way out. <laughs> what? One hand. I've never seen someone as tired as Lemon in this match. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Fan Fox prevents the tag 
And the elbows to the head now on Koki. He's he's putting in an incredible effort here. And he holds on for a pin. Where's Mo now? This time he's he, missed no, it. he missed it again. <laughs> and he's hurt himself, Jim. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's the fox's elbow. <laughs> The foxes have elbows, Jim. What well, they do now? <laughs> oh, what a maneuver! But he doesn't go for the pin. Oh, and somehow Cocky already recovering, bounces to his feet. Amazing stuff from Cocky, but then he eats a neckbreaker. He is still desperate for a tag. Fox getting exhausted, but he knows that his partner's in no good shape either. Still just trying to win it by himself here, Fan Fox. Wow. Just shrugged off the fox's elbow. That's unbelievable. That was incredible. He's having to rest in the corner. He's, he's in a bad way, Fan Fox here, Jim. Maybe he is better off making the tag now. Maybe. Oh, he's going for the shitty shooter. <laughs> the worst <laughs> champ oh. shooter ever in, ever in JFW history. <laughs> there's, there's so much daylight between himself and Cocky. I, I'm not even sure what this is, but yeah, not surprisingly, doesn't finish it, but all wearing Cocky down. He has been in there a long time now, Jim. Yes. Oh, is this? He's looking for the fox bottom. That's it. Oh my goodness! It's over. Moridam's got to hit the save this time. Well, this one's done. Oh, he, oh, he does. does. He, he takes out the <laughs> They lie. They sneak. They cheat. Cheat and steal. Sorry, Jim, but they do anything they can to to win their matches, and that was fantastic play by Moridam. Cocky now has some time whilst the ref recovers to try and turn this around and get a tag. He's just getting more battered, isn't he? He's just got to get the tag somehow. Really <laughs> does. This is awful. And Lemon's going to come back in now as well. Finally had time to recover from the earlier pounding that he took. Oh, he's oh, got no. straight into trouble in paradise. Oh, no. Jim, <laughs> I think this is over, Jim. I think, I think this is over. Can he make the cover? Unless Moradam can get there. He's not going in. Oh, oh my God. goodness me. Dress for business with a huge win and a, a huge performance to go with it. Wow. Well, I guess there's no doubt as to who the uh, number one contenders are for the tag team championship now after that amazing performance from Dress for and Business. The, uh, the, uh, the horrific double count out earlier as well. <laughs> Not putting anybody else in line for it. So, yeah, Dress for Business, undoubtedly the number one contender. Very deservedly so. <laughs> what do you think went wrong there for Cockerball Torture, Jim? I don't know. I think Moridan wasn't really at the races, was he? Like, he missed multiple mm -hmm. times breaking up. Wasn't available, wasn't, you know, available to get the pin from uh, the tag from Cocky. And then... Uh, did it in the yeah. at the end as well, so yeah, I guess. Really off day for Moradam, not not what we've seen from him lately. Yeah. Maybe tired, I mean, they were in that six-man match last night, but it didn't last for long, did it? <laughs> no, they were absolutely dominant, but again, yeah, it is still a match to be had just the night before, isn't it? Yeah, could could be somewhat down to fatigue. Yeah, Cocky did need to, maybe he didn't get a chance. Yeah, Cocky didn't tag, Moradam didn't save, it was just all going wrong, the complete reverse of what we've seen lately. It was. But now it's time for the main event, and it's the, the, your new Extra Arms Belt Champion versus Space Cadet, out for revenge from his, his best pal, Rick Reckless, who's been brutally injured um, in that massive Hell in a Cell match. This is, should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, that leg break was hard to watch uh, last night, Jim. Um, cr credit to, to Rick Reckless for, for even making the promo today, but he's going to be out for a long time. But don't take anything away from Night Demon. Five zombies and utter dominance of the match. He, he deserves this title, and honestly, I'm a little bit worried for Space Cadet here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> At sex wiping. <laughs> yeah, someone someone called him something. What was it? It was like they thought he looked like a sex viking, but it wasn't. But it it didn't fit. Whatever they said, didn't fit. Um, I, 
can't remember what they called him, but it was something like Sex Viking, right? But it, but it, <laughs> whatever they called him didn't fit, so I just made it at Sex Viking. Nice. <laughs> yeah, cr cr absolutely, Jack. Well, credit to uh, Space Cadet, because friend or no friend, like not everybody would get in the ring with Night Demon just to have your mates back, would they? So, yeah, absolute uh, heart being shown here by Space Cadet. Yep. Even though it might get ripped out of his body. <laughs> really <Demon>. good. <laughs> <laughs> it really could. And, uh, you know, do you even want to beat Night Demon? We've just seen an unbelievably dominant performance from Pepper Biscuit as well. And I wouldn't want to get in the ring with him either. And surely he's gunning for the top dog in the industry. So, uh, yeah, do, do you even want to take the shoes of Night Demon here? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I would be far away from him personally. But, hey, I'm just, I'm just a commentator. And uh, the wrestlers in the GFW are, are like, you know, they, they give it all, don't they? And Yeah, they live and breathe for this gym. They've been training their entire lives for this moment. So Space Cadet's about as ready as he'll ever be. Yeah, but I do, I do believe that he prefers the strategy of never trying to pin or submit your opponent. Which, uh... <laughs> well, make... <laughs> it, he, he had a quiet word with Jimmy and it worked last night, Jim, so... So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see that succeed again here. <laughs> and a great start from Space Cadet. Gets Night Demon down and kicks to the back. Uh -oh. Well, that woke him up, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't seem to have any effect, did it? Night Demon just popped up and, and tossed him around here. From rope to rope and a huge belly to back suplex. Right on the head of Space Cadet, dearie oh, me. And now the beatdown commencing. No, Space Cadet rolls away. He does, of course, have maybe the speed advantage here. He's pretty nippy, isn't he, Space Cadet? He is, yeah, yeah. Bit of a bit of a glass cannon. Yeah, I mean, he does have the advantage of armor seven, of course. <laughs> it's basically yeah, unbreakable. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, oh, he's... arm wrench from Night Demon countered by a big right hand and suplexes Night Demon out the ring. Oh, oh, and he goes to the top. <laughs> if this connects, Space has made a real start here. My <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my. I don't know who that hurt more, Jim. Oh, God. <laughs> the fucking kind of ass, ass to the back of Night Demon there, but then he crashed hard into the concrete himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The ass attack from Space Gadda, amazing. <laughs> Didn't, didn't uh, care about protecting his balls. He went straight for that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, putting it all on the line here. And he, he did have the upper hand, but a counter by Night Demon now. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, and he holds on for another suplex. Oh, beautiful, beautiful ringsmanship. Great wrestling ability there from Night Demon. You think about the power, but uh, he's got technical ability as well. Absolutely. He's got it in spades. Absolute monster is uh Night Demon. And yeah, it's just, just no it. no weakness. Yeah, really. That is so true. Oh, spear to the lower back bow by Space Cadet with those horns. That's got to hurt. Yeah, maybe his weakness is lack of body hair, to be fair. Space Cadet has that advantage as well. Yeah, a little bit of cushioning every time you fall, every time you take a kick or a punch to the gut. Oh my, oh my word. That is a that is a knockout suplex right there. The oh no, Space Cadet with a boot to the head and straight back up. He is really fighting for his friend Rick Reckless here, isn't he, Jim? <laughs> this is the most we've seen Space give in a long time. Absolutely, yeah. Incredible stuff from Rick. Uh, from Rick, from Spitz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he really cares. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, but uh, rammed got... onto the knee of Night Demon. Goodness me, the power there. And the power here. Picking him oh, up like a rag doll and crushing him into the canvas. That could be it. Oh, that is savage. Maybe he won't even need yeah. the zombie to win. Kick out at two. Yeah, we've not even seen a zombie yet. Oh. And, and, and I think we might now, Jim. It's zombie o'clock. <laughs> Boosh. Space, you did yourself proud. You did Rick Reckless proud, but but that's all over, son. Oh, oh my goodness, Jim. Oh, <laughs> how has he just kicked out of a zombie? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. The, the, the chin breaking. Spikes to the chin. Spikes to the chin. 
Oh, oh no! God. Oh no! <laughs> Absolutely wiped out. Oh, but he, ke he keeps thinking about his friend Rick and, and the cast on his leg and how he's going to be out of action for so long. He's, he's just, he's finding levels in the tank that he's never found before. I can't believe he kicked out of the zombie. <laughs> yes. That is probably the highlight of Space Cadet's career, apart from, of course, <laughs> beating Jimmy Fantastic for the Wemdorp Championship at WrestleMania. <laughs> 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 yeah, that that was that was something special. Oh, goes for the axe handle, but misses. But then he counters the right hand with the right hand of his own. Oh. Gets pushed off. This is back and forth. Who's going to come out on top? Oh my goodness, it's <laughs> it's absolutely night demon. Another crushing slam into his knee. Now he's just limbering up his arm. What what uh, dastardly plans is he concocting here? Well, it's a demon driver. Oh. oh, 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 that is it now. Well done, Space. But what a GG. <laughs> oh, my. What on earth, Jim? <laughs> well, this is shit to PC, isn't it? It it really, it really is. I don't know how much more I can take of this. People I genuinely care about. Zombie number two. No, what's he doing? <laughs> yes, yeah, Zombie number two. Weirdly stalling Zombie. He's a consummate professional, wasn't he? Making sure the hard cam got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, beautifully executed in front of us there. <laughs> oh, you know, great fight from space, but but that really was dominant at the end of the day from Night Demon. It really was, yeah. Oh, and look at this, a bit of respect. <laughs> Some uh, beautifully appropriate cutscenes going on at the end of matches here today. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, uh, Thanks for a, breaking a my buddy's leg. <laughs> I'll shake your hand, mate. <laughs> yep. That's what demons do. And, you know, when guys have been uh, beaten into a bloody pulp that you've never seen the likes of before, they pop up at the end and take out the referee. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well uh, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that was that was a show, wasn't it? Thank you very much, Rick, for joining us. Absolutely glorious. Thank you, sir. Another another great show. Another well booked show from you. Absolutely amazing, mate. Loved it. Thank you. Glorious. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>